Here's an old tale by a grandma. And in this country, they call grandma Nona, which is kind of like Nani, but it's Nona. So this is an old folk tale called Strega Nona. You see all the old buildings in the beginning? It's an old tale from long ago. And there's the first picture of Strega Nona. See, she's an old grandma. In a town in Calabria, a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Strega Nona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although all the people in town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her when they had troubles. Even the priest and the sisters of the convent went because Strega Nona had a magic touch. See how they're all lined up to get her advice or to get whatever she has that, they can, that can help them? She could cure a headache with oil and water and a hairpin. She made special potions for girls who wanted husbands. And she was very good at getting rid of warts. But Strega Nona was getting old and she needed someone to help her keep her little house and garden. So she put a sign up in town square. And big Anthony, who didn't pay attention, went to see her. Anthony, said Strega Nona, you must sweep the house and wash the dishes, must weed the garden, and pick the vegetables. You must feed the goat, and milk her, and you must fetch water. For this I will give you three coins, and a place to sleep, and food to eat. Oh, grazia, said Big Anthony. The one thing you must never do, said Streganona, is touch the pasta pot. It is very valuable and I won't let anyone touch it. Oh, see, si, yes, said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. Big Anthony did his work and Strega Nona met with the people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and warts. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to the goat shed, and he had food to eat. One evening, when Big Anthony was milking the goat, he heard Strega Nona singing. Peeking in the widow, he saw Strega Nona standing over the pasta pot. You remember what she told him about the pasta pot? He was never supposed to touch it. She sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me up some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled with steaming hot pasta. Then Streganona sang, Enough, enough, pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. How wonderful, said Big Anthony. That's a magic pot for sure. And Strega Nona called Anthony in for supper. But too bad for Big Anthony because he didn't see Strega Nona blow three kisses into the magic pasta pot. See her blowing the kisses in there? He didn't see that. And this is what happened. The next day when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch water, he told everyone about the pasta pot. And naturally everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly, a pot that cooked all by itself. You'd better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony, 
they said. Such a lie! But Big Anthony was angry, and that wasn't a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Someday I will get the pasta pot and, sh and make it cook, and then they'll be sorry. Then that day came sooner than even Big Anthony would have thought, because two days later, Stregonona said to Big Anthony, Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend Strega Amelia. Sweep the house and weed the garden, feed the goat and milk her, and for your lunch there are some bread there's some bread and cheese in the cupboard. And remember, don't touch the pasta pot. Oh yes, yes, Strega Nona, said Big Anthony, but inside he was thinking, My chance has come. As soon as Strega Nona was out of sight, Big Anthony went inside, pulled the pot off the shelf, and put it on the floor. Now let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And Big Anthony sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And sure enough, the pot bubbled and boiled and began to fill up with pasta. Aha, said Big Anthony. Then he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain, and and shouted, Everyone get forks and plates and platters and bowls. Pasta for all at Stregonona's house. Big Anthony had made the pasta. Big Anthony has made the magic pasta pot work. Of course, everyone laughed, but ran home to get forks and plates and platters and bowls. And sure enough, when they got to Stregonona's, the pasta pot was so full, it was beginning to overflow. Look at the pasta pot. So much spaghetti. Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped out pasta and filled the plates and platters and bowls. There was more than enough for all the townspeople, including the priest and all the sisters from the convent. And some people came back for two and three helpings, but the pot was never empty. When they had all had their fill, Big Anthony sang, Enough, enough, my pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot, so simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not throw three clis he did not blow three kisses. He went outside, and to the applause of the crowd, Big Anthony took a bow. He was so busy listening to compliments from everyone that he didn't notice the pasta pot was still bubbling and boiling until a sister from the convent said, Oh, Big Anthony, look! And pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor of Streganona's house and was coming out the door. So much spaghetti, so much pasta. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept boiling. He took the pot off the floor, but pasta kept pouring out of it. Big Anthony grabbed a cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But Pasta raised the cover and Big Anthony as well and spilled on the floor of Strega Nona's house. Stop, yelled Big Anthony, but the Pasta did not stop. And if someone hadn't grabbed poor Big Anthony, it would have covered him up. The hot Pasta had all but filled the little house. Out of the windows and through the doors came the Pasta and the pot kept right on bubbling. The townspeople began to worry. Do something, Big Anthony, they shouted. Big Anthony sang the magic song again, but without the three kisses, it did no good. By this time, the pasta was on its way down the road and all the people went running to keep ahead of it. We must protect our town from the pasta, shouted the mayor. 
get mattresses, tables, doors, anything to make a barricade. But even that didn't work. The pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept coming. Oh. We are lost, said the people. And the priest and the sisters of the convent began praying. The pasta will cover our town, they cried. And it certainly would have, but Strega Nona, had Strega Nona not come down the road home from her visit, she didn't have to look twice to know what had happened. What did she see? Pasta everywhere. She sang the magic song and blew the three kisses and with a sputter, the pot stopped boiling and the pasta came to a halt. Oh, grazie, thank you, thank you, Strega Nona, the people cried. But then they turned on poor Big Anthony. String him up, the men of the town shouted. Oh, now wait, Strega Nona said. The punishment must fix the crime. And she took a fork from the lady standing nearby and held it out to Big Anthony. All right, Anthony, you wanted pasta for my magic pot, Strega Nona said, and I want to sleep in my little bed tonight, so start eating. And he did. Poor big Anthony. Oh, look at his stomach. Eating and eating. I bet he's sick. And finally she got in her little bed and poor Anthony was done eating pasta. Remember she said, don't touch my pasta pot. <laughs>